Dear students, under the topic Laplace transform, we are finding the solutions of product of functions. In our previous video, we found the Laplace transform of product of two functions. Now in this video lecture, we will be learning how to find the Laplace transform of product of three functions. Now if you see here, the question is, Find Laplace transform of t e to the power negative t sin t. So we observe that we have to find the Laplace transform of product of three functions. These types of problems are very important for the examination point of view. Now since we have product of three functions where two of the functions is one of the function is t and the other function is e to the power negative t and the other function is sin t. So because we have t and e to the power negative t, we are going to apply two theorems to, solve, to find the solution of this problem. The first theorem that we will be applying is the first shifting theorem and then we will apply theorem 2 and we will find the solution of this problem. So always I would suggest that to rewrite this problem so that we can apply the first shifting theorem in the beginning of the problem. So how to rewrite this? So this can be rewritten as L that is Laplace transform of e to the power negative t and let's take t and sin t together as a function f of t. So t sin t. So first step is we have to rewrite in such a manner that we can apply the first shifting theorem. Now as per the first shifting theorem, what do we know? We know that Laplace transform of e to the power negative at f of t is equal to, we have to find the Laplace transform of the function f of t and in the resulting solution, we have to replace yes by now here we have negative a so s should be replaced as s plus a so uh, this is what we have in the first shifting theorem so let us first apply the first shifting theorem in order to find the solution of the given problem so here if you observe now we have to find laplace transform of so let us write this e to the power negative t multiplied with t sin t and so we observe that f of t over here is t sin t. So the problem will be we have to find the Laplace transform of f of t. What is f of t? t sin t and then in the resulting solution we have to replace yes by yes plus the value of a here is 1. So s plus 1. So therefore Laplace transform of e to the power negative t multiplied with t sin t which is taken as one function f of t will be equal to Laplace transform of the function t sin t and in the resulting answer we have to replace s by s plus 1. So let us mark this as equation 1 so that we can first find what, what, what is inside the curly brackets? That is, we have to find Laplace transform of t sin t separately and then take and substitute in this equation for the final solution. So, let us find this now. So, now in order to find the Laplace transform of t sin t, we have to use theorem 2. That is, by theorem 2, we know that the Laplace transform of t multiplied with f of t will be equal to negative d by ds of Laplace transform of f of t. Now what is f of t here? Here f of t is sin t. So Laplace transform of t sin t we have to find. So Laplace transform of t sin t will be taken as f of t. And so what we will get this to be that is Laplace transform of t instead of f of t we have sin t. This will be equal to applying this theorem negative d by ds of Laplace transform of f of t. But what is f of t? Sin t. So Laplace transform of sin t. So now we have to use the results under Laplace transform. We know that Laplace transform of 
sin at is equal to a divided by s square plus a square so this is the result that we have previously obtained so now this we will be applying over here so this will be equal to negative d by ds of what is laplace transform of sin t at the place of a we have 1 over here so it will be 1 divided by because a is 1 s square plus a square a is 1 so 1 square is 1 only so now we have to find the differentiation of this and write here which I have already shown in our previous video lectures but anyway again I will show you now here the numerator will be taken as u which is equal to 1 and the denominator is taken as v which is equal to s square plus 1 the formula that is that, that is that is used for differentiation here is differentiation of u by v and that is equal to what it is v square in the denominator v multiplied with u dash minus u multiplied with v dash so let us find u dash and v dash so u dash will be equal to 0 and v dash will be equal to differentiation of this with respect to s so it is 2s plus 0 so this is what we have now we apply the u by v method so that is equal to negative d by d as i'm sorry we have differentiated so this we will not have so negative sign multiplied with so after differentiation v square in the denominator what is v it is s square plus 1 so s square plus 1 the whole square and then v multiplied with s square plus 1 multiplied with u dash but what is u dash it is 0 minus u u is 1 so 1 multiplied with v dash v dash is what 2s so this is what we get so simplifying this more further negative multiplied with so this complete term becomes 0 so within the bracket we will have minus 1 multiplied with 2s is minus 2s divided by s square plus 1 the whole square now this negative sign gets multiplied and it becomes positive and so we have 2s divided by s square plus 1 the whole square this is what actually it is laplace transform of t sin t so therefore we have got laplace transform of t sin t to be equal to 2s divided by s square plus 1 the whole square now this we, we have to take and substitute in our equation 1 that is at the place of Laplace transform of t sin t we have to substitute this one 2s by s square plus 1 the whole square so let us do that now so after substituting in equation 1 this is what we get now simplifying this further that is we have to make this replacement we have to shift s to s plus 1 so at the place of s we have to replace it by s plus 1 so a 2 multiplied with s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 the whole square that is instead of s square we are replacing it as s plus 1 square plus 1 and this whole square we all have that is this whole square now let us expand this by using a plus b the whole square formula to simplify it further either I, you can either leave the answer here itself you can complete the problem or you can simply try to simplify it even more so in the numerator we have 2 multiplied with s plus 1 and in the denominator if we expand this using a plus b the whole square formula we have s square plus 2s plus 1 and then this plus 1 the whole square now simplifying this further we get 2 multiplied with s plus 1 divided by in the denominator s square and then plus 2s and 1 plus 1 is 2 so plus 2 the whole square this is the solution of the required problem that is Laplace transform of uh, e to the power negative t t sin t we can uh, write this in the form uh, as the question is given that is the question is given as Laplace transform of t e to the power negative t sin t 
and this is equal to 2 multiplied with s plus 1 divided by s square plus 2s plus 2 the whole square. So this is the solution of the given problem. In our next video, we will find the Laplace transform of a similar kind of problem where we will be having t e to the power negative t and instead of sin t, it is cos ht. So we will be solving uh, another problem of this kind. So kindly follow the next video lecture. Thank you.